So Lauren Bushnell, Ben Higgins, congratulations. Yeah. You guys look so happy and you're so cute together. I'm happy. I've been team Lauren this whole time, obviously. I've been kind of biased, but <laughs> so tell me about Engaged Life. You guys found each other on such, you know, an abnormal style, you know? Yeah. Well, Engage Life is really nice because it's public now. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. um, mm -hmm. It's just really awesome to be able to take her in public. Um, it almost feels at times like we're doing something wrong still, though, uh, <laughs> honestly. Uh, sometimes I'm like out amongst group and I'm like, wait, now I can talk about Lauren? Like, you know, that's, right. it's a weird deal. So. Right. Mm -hmm. So how about you, Lauren, your person? You found him. I know. I mean, it feels wonderful. My parents are in town right now, mm -hmm. and we're all staying under one roof, and we can go out to dinner, and we're all coming to the Baker's Youth Club event tonight, and it just feels more normal. Like, it, in my life kind of feels complete. Like, I've found that, that one thing that, I, that was kind of missing. <laughs> so, yeah. So tell me about hiding. You had to be hiding for three months. That is the biggest secret that you probably ever had to, you know, hold, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was it like? <laughs> I mean, it was it was a little bit agonizing. It was just weird because you kind of stopped talking about it. And then you, I don't know, for me, I kind of forgot. Like, I mm -hmm. knew that we were together, but I sometimes I forgot I was engaged because I had taught myself not to talk about it, you mm -hmm. know? And so it's just so nice to talk openly about it and go on dates and it's it's like the coolest moment of your life to be you know to find that person for you mm -hmm. um and then it's the hardest in this because then it's like but i can't tell anybody about it mm -hmm. um it's all worth it now and it's it's you know the waiting was was interesting we, we were in a house oftentimes just to her and i we couldn't leave uh food was provided so it was really nice for us to just talk get to know each other you know outside of the show and just spend that e those evenings together uh but it's really nice now to be in public and be around mm -hmm. friends and family well, now you're back here at Baker Youth Club. You already took her on a one-on-one -on -one date here. So is it, any, is it any different this time around, being engaged? How does it feel to be a part of this fundraiser? Um, first off, Baker's Youth Club, I mean, there has a huge impact on my, my life. Um, I've seen kids grow up here. There's kids that came today to say hi to both of us that are in high school now that were, you know, in middle school and elementary school when I was working here. Um, this place is a very special place. Uh, I'm really happy that I get to show Lauren how special it is and that she now, you know, this is her, her second visit um, and now she feels at home here. Um, and that's huge for me because our life, you know, is starting to be shared in this environment. Mm -hmm. Do you have any places back home in Portland that maybe you didn't take them on the hometown date that you want to show them? Okay, so we're going back to Portland in a couple weeks here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I can't wait to show him around. Um, all over the city. There's so many different places. Specifically, I think we're going to a Portland Trail Blazers game, which I, I'm Ooh. converting him to be a Blazers fan. <laughs> but no, yeah, there's so many places, you know, like I got to see Ben's schools that he grew I mean, I can't wait to drive him by the, the school that I went in my elementary school, my middle school, high school, and meet family. And I think we're both very family oriented. So that's huge for me to meet, you know, aunts, uncles, grandma, etc. So yeah. I'm very excited. Aww. So what is the one thing that you're most looking forward to now that you can share this with the world and, you know, you're not on, you know, a huge uh, network television show anymore, so you can finally be somewhat normal, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is it. Yeah. Showing her the places that mean so much to me, um, bringing, her, bringing her here uh, because there's so many people that have been supportive of my life and now allowing them to be supportive of Lauren and I, my life together. Uh, that's what I was looking forward to. Uh, this is all starting to come together, right? I mean, a, a crazy situation <laughs> to meet the love of your life and you meet her there and now you get to share these kind of moments with her and that's really what I was excited about. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, of course, you know, the big question, when are the wedding bells gonna happen? <laughs> you know, is there a big move coming along too? Move, yes. Okay. Um, we don't have a date set yet. That's kind of okay. the hot topic. But yeah, um, next month I'll be moving to Denver. So that's kind of our first step. Mm -hmm. um, we've both talked about how rushed this whole process is. And so now we're just enjoying being engaged. We're enjoying time with family. We're enjoying um, life together. And we just don't want to rush anything necessarily. Mm -hmm. But with that said, we definitely are getting married and not pushing that off, but we, we want to take it one step at a time, mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you guys you. look so happy. Uh, Congratulations. Are. I'm happy he picked you, of course. Thank you. <laughs> it was nice oh to my. see you guys. <laughs> Give me hugs. Oh, we'll have a group hug. You. Thank you so much. <laughs>